everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do your hair like Elsa's in the movie Frozen. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to show you what you're going to need. A hair curler, hairspray, a hair tie, and a whole bunch of bobby pins. So to start off with, make sure your hair is thoroughly brushed because if it's not, it is a really hard to braid it. <laughs> so um, make sure that your hair is completely non-greasy because if it's second day hair or you know you washed your hair in the morning you're doing it at night you might have a little bit of grease or sweat in your hair which will weigh it down so make sure if that's the case to spritz over a little bit of dry shampoo for extra volume and then for even more volume I went ahead and teased the hair on the crown of my head and brushed it back so that it was once again smooth and I also did the same thing to the hair at the sides. To make sure that stays in its place, I just used my hairspray and just sprayed it all over. Well, all over the parts that I just teased. <laughs> and now I look kind of very 80s, but that's okay. Take two sections on either side of your head. These will be the wispy parts of our hair. And make sure you comb those out because they may have got caught in the teasing action and we don't want those bits teased. So just pull those to the front and put the rest of your hair to the back to keep the sections sectioned. And then sectioned the top of my head, so probably the top third of my head, and section that to use as the beginning of my braid. And then I just did a regular French braid. The best thing about this look is that you really, it's really messy, so it, has to be, it doesn't have to <laughs> can't even talk right now. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the sections that you grab can be smaller or bigger or you know they can be a little bit poking out. It doesn't matter. It's part of the look. So that's really great. <laughs> Once you get down towards the end, just bring it over to the side of your shoulder and continue to braid it down just like a regular braid to whatever side you want and just tie it off at the end with a hair tie. Now we go into these sections here, so I'm going to use my hair curler and I'm going to curl them away from my face. So back towards the back of my head and curl all of the pieces the same way. Hold it there for a few seconds, it shouldn't take long because these are small sections. And then just take the curl out and run your fingers through it, string it out, you know, it doesn't have to be a tight curl, I want it to be a loose kind of curl. Just continue that for the rest of your head, you want two to three sections on each side. So with the sections on the top of my head, I just teased them up and sprayed them so they had some volume. And then I kind of pinned them back in a towards the side that the braid was going, just like Elsa has that kind of puffy thing going back towards her braid. And just pin that back as a bit of a little puffy thing in a kind of angular angular way. So it's not going straight back, it's going back to the side whichever side that your braid is on and then I took the sections the rest of the sections 
and pin them back towards the braid and then just poke them back into the braid so that they were kind of hidden. You can even leave some tiny bits of hair just out like that piece if you want the really messy look. So just spray this up. Make sure it stays in place. And then grab your plait and pull the pieces out just like this so that it gets fatter. Elsa has a really fat plait. I don't think we can even achieve that kind of plait with the amount of hair us humans have, but you know. Click on my face to see the makeup tutorial for this look. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my videos. Bye!